Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley Estes here on the Mountain View Cottage and today I'm bringing you another homeschooling video as we gear up for the new 2023-2024 homeschool year and today I'm going to share with you all of my science picks and my nature study picks for our homeschool curriculum for this next school year. I am a mom of seven. Six of my kids are homeschooled and well technically <laughs> Five of my kids are homeschooled because I have a preschooler and then I have a teenager who is um, not being homeschooled. So anywho, I'm going to share what our curriculum picks look for look like for our family. We have a six, two sixth graders, a fifth grader, a third grader, and a kindergartner this year. So um, these are what we're going to be using this upcoming school year. Some of this is things that I've been using for years and we're just doing different um, subjects. And some of this is new to our school year this year, and I'm really excited to try some of these new products out. Um, first, I'm gonna start with nature study. Nature study is something that I actually really only incorporated like with a formal curriculum last year, and it became something we really, really loved. And I think it's because the curriculum we used was so um, fun, and that is the Treehouse Nature Study from um, the Treehouse Schoolhouse. Um, you can find her on Instagram, here on YouTube. And we did the autumn study last year as well as the winter study. And so I am gonna do the spring and the summer this year. So we'll start with the summer. I, um, I've already ordered it, but I haven't printed it out. I'm in the process of printing it out. So for the sake of this video, so you can see what her curriculum looks like. They, she has done one for every season. And then there's also like an Easter one and a Christmas one. And I think we'll probably use her Christmas one this, this year. I'm really excited. I love to do Christmas, Christmas themed stuff. Um, but this is the autumn one, and this is the teacher guide. But one of the reasons I love this curriculum is because we used it kind of for our morning basket. And you can see there's a curriculum calendar for autumn, and each week there's a theme. So there's apples, birds of prey, the autumn equinox, arachnids, fungi, which I love because I love mushrooms, deciduous trees, the moon, pumpkins and corn, stars. Um, and it, there's a full set of 13 different weeks with different themes that are autumn themed. And um, each week you have a folk song that matches the theme, a hand rhyme, a poem, a picture study, and then there's also a selection of fiction books that you can use, nonfiction books, um, and some references for like, um, for example, like the Food Anatomy book by Julia Rothman, and then um, nature connection materials, things such as apples for the week of apples or an apple pie that you can bake, um, and then display sheets. So she creates these beautiful display sheets every week. Um, and like for week one, there's an apple pie recipe. I, I only brought out um, the teacher guide, so I can't show you the beautiful um, sheets that you can put up on your wall or just place somewhere in your home for each week or put them on the fridge, um, but they really are beautiful illustrations that are so fun to add to each week. But this kind of became um, a big part of our morning basket time. And I love the songs that she picked. I love the poems that she picked. Instead of trying to get all these books at my local library, because there's so many for each week, um, and it does change from week to week, um, or trying to buy them, which is also really expensive, I would just look up the read-alouds of these books on YouTube, and I can almost always find almost every book on the list as a read-aloud on YouTube, and so we would just watch the read-aloud on YouTube, and that was a really easy and quick way with a little prep that we could um, dive into the fiction and the non-fiction books that she suggests each, each week. So um, this is one way that we'll be doing nature study next year and something we've used before that was probably our favorite new thing that we used last year. Next up, I like to incorporate some other kinds of nature study into our morning basket time. So I'll have a whole video on our morning basket, but we're going to incorporate birds and bird watching into our morning basket. Um, this a couple years ago, we did the bird study um, science course through the Good and the Beautiful, and we absolutely loved it. And we're just still really into birds. I love birds. I have a clock that chimes a different bird tune every hour. <laughs> and we have like six bird feeders on our porch to attract wild birds. And so um, I thought it'd be fun to study more about the birds in our area. So I got this book um, called Birds of Arizona, um, it, which is a field guide. And they have one, I think, for every single state. So we live in Arizona, so it seemed right to do the Arizona bird guide so that we can learn more about our local nature and the birds. And we'll just go through a bird a day. Um, in our morning basket. So for instance, on page 191, we have the cinnamon teal, which is a type of duck. Um, 
and there's a whole bunch of facts about them and we'll learn about them and um it shows kind of the regions in Arizona on the map, so that brings in some geography. And so that's one way we will study birds. And then I found this really amazing book. It's not a book I've heard talked a lot about or all by any other homeschools. I'm sure there have been, but um, it's new to me. And I felt like it was just kind of a gem I stumbled upon. I stumbled upon on Amazon. It's called the Backyard the Backyard Bird Watchers Bible, and it's just a really beautiful book. Um, and I really love when there are real pictures of birds or whatever it is we're learning in science in the book so there's just some beautiful birds and so we'll probably accompany our birds of arizona with just this general bird watchers guide book um that just has really quick you know just little snippets of the eastern whip poor will which is this this bird right here it shows on a map again so we got some geography of where it can be found so that we're just learning more about birds um because we love birds and it's just an interest for a, it's a point of interest for our family and um that's one thing we'll do the next um nature study curriculum we are going to be using is new to us this year i found um the channel uh simply simple studies um by crystal wiley on youtube and i really loved her curriculum haul videos on youtube so shout out to her channel if you're looking for other really good curriculum channels she follows a very charlotte mason style um curriculum with her family and so it appealed to me because we also really love charlotte mason style curriculum and books and living books and so she has written some of her own unit studies and we are going to use these for nature study this year so the first one i have printed out and um you can buy the downloads from her website simple studies and um print them out at home which is what i did and i just put each of these in a binder and there's lessons um that include like the materials that you need, things for older students, things to read together. Um, but each of these unit studies is paired with one of these books. So this book is Among the Forest People. So we'll read a section of this book and then do the lesson that goes with it. And it's by Kara Dillingham Pearson. Um, so that is one of our nature study units we'll do this year. And then the next one is, um, among the pond people by Kara Dillingham Pearson also and then it pairs with the simple studies unit uh, called pond creatures I'm really excited about both of these unit studies I think they will be really fun for my kids and just another way to introduce um, nature study to my kids this school year so we will do those and then there's one more by simple studies that we're going to try and it is a classic book that many probably have heard of. My mom and my grandma loved this book and it was a part of my childhood. So when I saw that she had a unit study on this book, I knew that I wanted to use it this year. And that's kind of one of the main reasons I decided to try Simple Studies this year because of this unit study. Um, it's Just So Stories by Rudyard Kipling. Rudyard Kipling. I always feel like I'm saying his, weird, his first name wrong, but anyway just those stories and here is the simple studies unit study that goes along with it um, once again there are beautiful um, coloring pages for your kids I've pre printed out six pages for my family for the kids that will want to color and just put them in the back of this so that as we go through it every day I've already had I already have it prepped and ready to go there's also some pictures of different animals that go along with the stories in this book and so um, like for lesson seven it says uh, you'll need the Just So Stories book, the coloring pages, um, and it says to read chapter seven, um, the beginning of the armadillos, and then your kids will color the armadillo coloring page, and then you'll have your kids look up an armadillo um, using the image that was already in here, and we'll learn about them. And then it said you can explore a certain site about armadillos and watch a short video that's linked about armadillos as well. So. And then there's also picture book suggestions for each of the lessons. So I think what we'll do is like one or two lessons a week from um, our simple studies units. And um, basically we're going to um, use YouTube <laughs> to read the story, to read the books that are suggested like we did with our treehouse, schoolhouse nature study. This is just a really easy way to incorporate the books that go with each lesson. So I'm super excited to um, dive into the simply the simple studies unit studies as well as the treehouse nature studies and our bird 
options, our bird watching options this year. Um, some are tried and true, and then some things are new, and some are interest led, and so that, those will be really fun. Um, next, I'm going to share our true science curriculum that we'll be using for this school year. I have already shared this in another video, but I wanted to make a video specifically about nature study and science. So if you've already watched this video, this will be a repeat, um, but it just makes sense to share it together. So we love, love the good and the beautiful science units, and we have been using them. This will be our fourth year using them. We've done many of the different science units. There's not a single one we haven't liked, and we've just learned so much about nature and science. And so this year, previously, my kids have been in the younger elementary ages, and now some of my kids are entering middle school and in getting into the upper elementary ages. So we're gonna incorporate some more um, like physical science and biology and things like that this year. And, um, and so it's not gonna be all animal science units. Kind of as we've done in the past we did do the science the space unit last year which was really fun and kind of a longer one and we really dove into space which was fun so we are going to do firstly the botany um course study which is recommended for three through eighth grade and then um this is one of the units that they've updated i want to say they've updated all the units now you used to have to kind of put them together and cut things out and laminate them and now they're very open and go and easy to use and they also incorporate um, student journals and this just co coincides pretty much with every single lesson there's a student journal page um, and your kids can use them and interact with the lesson and learn things from the lesson um, as you go through each lesson. So botany will be our one of our lessons. Um, I haven't, I think I've already planned out which science units we're using in which order and I'll have a whole nother video on how we plan our homeschool year which I am really excited to share with you because planning is kind of my favorite thing. Um, so these are not in order. These are just the units, the units that we're using. So the first one is botany and then the next one is anatomy and I have a couple of things I got to go along with this. Um, so first it's health and the physical body. Also my robot vacuum apparently is vacuuming right outside my door right now. I apologize. Um, so health and the physical body. So this is something that I feel is a little bit more appropriate for some of the older kids and I'm excited to do that with them this year. I also will be using, of course, the health and the physical body student journals. Here is a look inside. Um, here's a really cool one. It's breathe in and breathe out and you get to label the different um, parts of breathing. And then on this page, there's a bone and the different parts of a bone. So I, I just, I'm really excited to use um, to do this with my kids next year. Um, the next thing um, I'll be using along with the health and the physical body unit are these coloring pages, coloring books. Um, I got one for each of my kids. It's my first human body book. My kids love to color and so I thought this would be a really good way to kind of incorporate some of the things that they're already going to be learning in a way where when I'm reading and doing other parts of our school day, they can color this as we're doing that. And it's like labeled parts of the heart, labeled, labeled parts of the pulmonary system. Um, so these are just fun coloring pages um, that I got for my kids that are also educational because I have some kids who really love art. The last thing I have that's gonna go along with our study of the human body is this anatomic, anatomicum anatomicum say that five times fast by katie weidman and jennifer z paxton it's welcome to the museum book um these are big books um and this one is all about the human body and just really beautifully illustrated i prefer real pictures but i think for the ages of my kids these illustrated pictures are a little bit softer and mellower for them and they're really well done um and so we'll use this for our body study of the human body this year. I'm really excited to do that. Next up, we will be doing um, the marine biology course from The Good and the Beautiful. And we did the marine biology course for the study of oceans from Gather Round, our first year of homeschooling. So we've already done marine biology before. But my kids love this so much and I love The Good and the Beautiful science units. So I really wanted to do, do The Good and the Beautiful's version of this. They have beautiful videos that they've created for these courses. So there's several videos for each um, unit, um, not every lesson, but each unit that they've created. They have beautiful, beautiful videos that you can watch on YouTube that are free. This is one of the reasons I really like this course. And so um, there is a look at the Marine Biology Student Journal, um, echinoderms and mollusks. They get to do a lesson where they get to label and learn more about echinoderms and mollusks. 
among many other things. And I also got one more of those amazing Welcome to the Museum books. This one is the Oceanarium book. This one is um, written by Love Day Trinick and Tegan White. And um, here's a picture, some illustrations of zooplankton. And um, it tells you what each of the things are here and just a little thing that you can read about them. The Habitat of the Deep Sea. It's just such a beautiful book. So well illustrated and I'm excited to incorporate these Welcome to the Museum books in our homeschool science lessons next year. The last thing that we're going to be doing is kingdoms and classifications. This is um, not one that we've done before. All of these are new to us. This is lesson three and it's called classification. It's all about classifying the different parts of the kingdoms and classification of animals. And of course, once again, there is a kingdoms and classifications student journal. Um, I don't think I would buy a Good and the Beautiful unit that wasn't updated with these student journals and in this form because they're just so much easier to use and so, so much less time to prepare. Each summer before school would start, before they updated these lessons, I would spend hours and hours the last couple weeks of the summer cutting things out, laminating things, putting them together in binders and trying to manage all of the pieces that came with it. And it's just so much easier to use. I, I know I've already said it, but they're amazing. So here is the student journal. Um, so you get to do a skin cell microscope, microscope lab. You get to sort seeds. Here's a really cool chart. I'm not sure what this is all about, but this is part of one of the student journal lessons. So those are all of our official science units that we're gonna be using this school year. I'm super excited to do science. Science is my hands down my favorite thing to do with my kids, aside from like literature read alouds. Um, just because it's so fun to dive into all these different things and just study nature and life and the beautiful creations of God. And I love that because we're a homeschooling family, we get to talk about it from a, a Christian worldview. We, um, I love that we get to incorporate God into the lessons. And that's one of the reasons I love The Good and the Beautiful is because they do mention God and God's creations in the lessons for science, which is something that I want to bring and represent with my kids as we're learning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have uploaded many different curriculum videos for this next school year. Um, I've tried to share bits and pieces about how I feel about certain curriculums and why we like them, why we're choosing them, whether they're things we've used before or they're new to us, and um, just give you some insight on some of the curriculum that we're using this year. And I hope you find those helpful. I find I have found these really these kinds of videos really helpful for me as I have searched for a curriculum as a new homeschool mom. Um, this year we're going into our fourth year, as I've said, and so we have some tried and true methods at this point. I'm also a person who loves to try new things and um, I will share how I feel about them at the end of the school year. And if you are interested in seeing a curriculum review of some of the things we've used, we've used in the past, please let me know in the comments and I can do so. We've used a variety of different things over the years for math, for science and for history. Well, not so much for science, but for history and math, we've used a bunch of different stuff and a few different things for English. So I'd be happy to do review videos if that's something you guys are interested in. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and please come by my channel again next Thursday. I upload every week on Thursday and I will have more content to share with you. Thanks for being here.